Thank you, Big X, Pinoy's beatboxing champ. Thank you, thank you so much for that rap theme for uh, Julius Babao Unplugged. And speaking of rap, as you can see, I'm wearing a Supreme shirt featuring the Ghetto Boys. They're not so known, no? Hindi sila masyadong kilalang grupo when it comes to rap, pero uh, ginawa pa rin silang shirt ng Supreme. And uh, I'm also wearing this as a tribute to uh, Bushwick Bill, one of the members. Ito siya, uh, si Richard Shaw, who recently died last month because of uh, pancreatic cancer. Si Bushwick Bill ay merong uh, dwarfism at uh, sadly, na-diagnose siya na meron siyang pancreatic cancer, stage 4, medyo late na, kaya last month, he passed away. So, uh, rip. Okay, uh, Bushwick Bill. Okay, Richard Shaw. And welcome, guys, to my vlog. And thank you so much to our new subscribers on our road to uh, 100,000 subscribers. At syempre, pag naabot ho natin yun, meron tayong malaking giveaway na ibibigay sa ating uh, mga lucky subscribers. Later in the vlog, we'll be giving away an X-Large shirt designed by uh, Sorayama. And X Large, and uh, a shirt by Adidas and Kith. And aside from that, we're also giving away sunglasses from uh, Ses Style. There you go. There you go. There you go. Pero patay isang uh, glasses dito na pamimigay sa ating lucky viewer today. At guys, nabalitaan nyo na ba yung ginawang pag-aresto sa sikat na rapper na si Asa Praki sa Sweden? Grabe ito, pinag-uusapan talaga ito sa buong mundo Lalo na ng mga fans ni Asa Praki Marami ang nagulat dahil as of the present Asa Praki is still behind bars in Stockholm, Sweden Ito ay dahil sa accusation ng pambubugbog sa dalawang lalaki of uh, Afghan descent Diyan po sa Stockholm, Sweden uh, Nagulat ang lahat nung nabalita nito And uh, si Asa Praki was able to post some videos of the incident sa kanyang Instagram account. Doon sa video na to, makikita natin na sinusundan sila ng dalawang lalaki. Tapos, itong dalawang lalaki, pinakikiusapan nila kung pwedeng lumayo na lang kasi hindi sila komportable na sundan ito. I guess it's better if you just watch the video first and uh, you be the judge, no? Tingnan nyo. Go, go, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Boy. But throughout the video, you can see na parang sunod ng sunod itong lalaki ito hanggang sa nauwi sa panakit nung isa sa mga uh, lalaki dito sa bodyguard ni Asa Praki. Meron siyang pinalong, I think, parang headphones sa ulo nitong uh, bodyguard. Pero yung bodyguard hindi lumaban. And then ASAP told them na wag nyo na kaming sundan. Ayaw namin ng gulo. So, uh, you go on your way. Wag nyo na kaming pakialaman. Pero itong dalawang lalaking ito kept on following them. Just for the cameras, we don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following them. Look at them. They keep following. Tapos no, nagpatuloy pa rin yung pagsunod ng dalawang lalaki sa kanila at nakiusap na nga si Asa Praki na kung pwede eh, lumayo na sila because he doesn't want any trouble and that they don't wanna fight with them. Yun ang kanyang sinasabi. Cut! We don't know what happened until nilabas na nga ng TMZ yung video kung saan pinapakitang binubugbog na ni na Asa Praki itong mga lalaking ito. Dito sa susunod na video, makikita ang binabalibag na ni Asa Praki ang isa sa mga lalaki. So after that, they were arrested by the Swedish police and were charged in court and as of this time, hindi pa rin sila nakakalabas ng tulungan. May mga nagsasabi na issue daw ito ng racism 
uh, at iba't iba pa mga accusations. Uh, tapos si Asa Praki naman was complaining uh, through his lawyers na inhumane daw yung treatment sa kanya sa loob ng kulungan. Tapos ang kasama pa raw niya ay para may diprensya sa pag-iisip sa loob ng kanyang cell. Uh, nakakalungkot no, itong pangyayaring ito. Because it could have been avoided kung hindi lang nagpadala sana si Naisa Prahi sa kanilang emotion. But I don't blame him, guys. No, If it happens to you, ang hirap din ng situation. But when you're in a foreign land, parang mag-iisip-isip ka eh ng ilang beses bago mo gawin ito. Baka merong sariling loss itong uh, Sweden na talaga mabigat ang parusa sa mga ganito. But uh, what's important here is that they were able to take video and document yung mga pangyari before the incident. So let's hope na sana ay uh, ma-resolve itong uh, pangyayaring ito and eventually ay uh, makalabas na rin ang kulungan itong si Asa Rocky. Another news guys, Virgil Abloh of Off-White and Louis Vuitton, his Instagram account was hacked. Ganito nangyari. The hackers were able to take over Virgil's personal account and ask his followers to follow another account. And once the account reaches 50,000 followers, he will leak his latest off-white sneaker. The hacker made the announcement that once his followers reach 200,000, he will be dropping his latest sneaker. And then in the Instagram stories, the hacker said that he will be selling his latest off-white X Futura Laboratories, X Nike Dunk Low sneakers at 5,000 US dollars in Bitcoins. And before it got worse, Virgil and Instagram were able to recover his account. Halos sa uh, every week, may mga bagong developments na uh, nangyayari. Ang an dami mga lumalabas na mga bagong sneakers na in-expect natin na i-release these coming months. Travis Scott na mga sneakers, he will be releasing four more new sneakers. At uh, exciting ito mga ito. Travis Scott and Nike will be releasing the new Jordan 1 Low Cactus Jack. Ito yung pinakita natin recently sa ating vlog sa Ref LA Manila. And this will be released this coming September. And expected to be released in October is the new Air Force One Low called Fossil. And in summer, they will release Jordan 4 Retro Olive. And also to be released is Jordan 6 Tefra na hype na hype ngayon sa social media. Inaabangan ko rin itong uh, shattered backboard low. Ganda, no? The history of the shattered backboard happened in 1986 during an exhibition game in Italy wherein Michael Jordan shattered the ring's backboard making the event controversial and unforgettable. And as a tribute to that incident, uh, Jordan 1 came out with the shattered backboard colored orange pattern after the uniform worn by Michael Jordan. And uh, this year, they will be releasing the same uh, Jordan 1 but a low version of it. I don't know if they'll release a high version, so let's wait and see. Uh, ito talagang gold sto, guys. Na sana ay uh, makakuha tayo nitong uh, off-white Nike na MCA Air Force One. Uh, yan eh, sold out agad dyan eh. Nag-release din naman sila ng mga limited uh, number of these sneakers pero parang wala pa yata ako nakikita sa Pilipinas na nagre-resell nito. Let's check out the price at stock X. Wow, 1,800 US dollars. OMG! At yung kaibigan natin si Chinky Tan was able to see one in uh, New York, pero guys, sobra mahal. 3,000 US dollars. OMG to the max. Good luck sa atin. Alright, let's go to uh, unboxing, guys. Uh, here are some of the sneakers that I uh, bought this week. And two of these sneakers I bought from uh, Rock and Soul dito sa Quezon City. Okay, let's start with the uh, Nike SB. Uh, ito yung box niya. Nike SB. SB means skateboard. This uh, Nike SB sneakers is designed by Eric Costin, a famous skateboarder and designer. Ito, isa sa mga magagandang uh, low. Nike Jordan low na nakita natin. Ganda ng color. It's colored uh, Midnight Navy. 
And ang kanyang swoosh ay uh, colored uh, gray silver. You have the logo there of the Nike SB. And of course, ang uh, unique dito is yung Jumpman logo na doon mismo sa harap ng uh, sneakers. Okay, take a look guys. So back, that's the Air Jordan logo there. And there, yeah, guapo, no? And it comes with the uh, lace, a white lace. Ito, ang lace niya ngayon is blue. Inside, check it out. There's the logo there, Nike SB. Sinali naman, yeah. standard uh, Jordan shoes. Ang uh, design. Ito yung mga ma-advise natin, yung mga ganitong klase, yung mga low. Kasi hindi masyadong overpriced. I got this for around mga 9,000. Tan sa rock and soul. Oh. And I think it's worth it. Kasi ang ganda ng uh, forma nito. The other shoes that I got, and I couldn't resist guys, nung nakita ko. Kasi nanginig ako. <laughs> hindi na kasi siya masyadong uh, available ngayon. And I uh, think it's also rare. Itong uh, Nike Retro OG colored purple. Alam nyo guys, just a small trivia. When I was just a little kid, uh, talagang favorite ko talaga ang color purple. Color purple yung shirt ko. Color purple yung aking pantalon. Color purple yung aking shoes. At color purple din ang aking socks. Tapos ang favorite food ko is ube. Uh, favorite ice cream ko is ube ice cream. Kaya nung nakita ko to, uh, ano agad ako? Um, meron instant attraction. Ika nga, no? Because of the uh, color, it's a happy color for me. Uh, it brings back so many memories. Pati ang kanyang lace. Okay, tignan natin. The lace is colored purple. And uh, check it out. Check out the leather. It's uh, soft. Nice and soft. Pati yung harap niya. Oh, lambot. Malambot yung leather na ginamit. And the swoosh is black. And there you go. That's the back. And that's the Air Jordan logo there. Okay. Kita nyo naman, no? Uh, yung uh, texture ng leather. Mukhang uh, magandang klaseng leather yung ginamit. Lalo na sa white. White and, uh, yan. Kita yung busot-busot, yung kulukulubot na yan. O, oh, ang ganda niyan. Yan yung sign na uh, comfortable at uh, malambot yung leather na ginamit. Pati yung sarap. See? And inside, there you go. Nandiyan ang Nike logo sa loob. And, uh, what else can we see here? And nandiyan details ng ano, yung sneakers, yung mga serial number and all. And, Sa ilalim, ganda rin ang color. It's also colored purple. Nice. But I'm sure in the market uh, somewhere, meron ding mga uh, sneakers na ganito na pang babae. Kaya nga si Tintin, gusto niyang arborin to. Pero nung sinukat niya, hindi ka siya. Oh. <laughs> Nasyadong malaki sa paa niya. Ako nga rin, eh, nangihinayang kong gabitin eh. Parang ano, gusto ko lang siyang tingnan. <laughs> I might use it siguro mga once or twice, but I just wanna look at it. Oh, yeah, no? Just wanna look at it, display it, uh, para ma-appreciate mo yung, uh, yung ganda. Alright guys, are you ready for uh, Ulat sa Bayan? Mm. Ulat sa Bayan na tayo guys. Uh, we'll be announcing the winners of our uh, sneaker bunk contest. Well, our first right. giveaway is the kit Adidas. Uh, very rare din siya, wala ka na mabibili sa store. Yeah, so size XL naman siya. White naman siya, so pwede naman oversize pag sinuot niya. Oh. Tapos the other one is the X-Large Sorayama. Wow! Oh, so, ayan, pwede niya pa yung search. Uh, rare din to. Ano ang pangalan uh, nitong uh, shoes na to? Na Yeezy. Anong classic Yeezy to? Oh, ayan, ilagay niya sa inyong sagot. And the other question is? The other question is, ano yung pinakabuso ko na pinigil sa mga T50 Vicos na Yeezy? From Sess Style. Available yan sa mga, yan sa Sess Style uh, online stores. 
Our first winner, his answer is Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra and Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Triple White. Our winner is Dennis Valenzuela of Caloocan. And the winner of our Adidas Kith shirt is Elise Riazo of Davos City. So, dalawang sunglasses ang ating pamimigay sa ating mga loyal viewers. Ito na po ang ating mga winners. First winner of our sunglass is Jonas Bacini of Makati City. And another shades for Vea Villar of Quezon City. Congratulations, guys! And guys, today is my birthday! Thank you, thank you so much for uh, all your greetings. And uh, my wish is uh, for all of you to uh, stay happy, okay? And uh, stay positive. Ang dapat natin maging outlook sa buhay ay happy, very positive. Oo. Relax lang tayo. Basta YOLO, di ba? Yung ating tandaan, you only live once, so there's no room for negativity. We should always be positive para mas lalo pong maging masaya at humaba ang ating mga buhay. So, I wish ko guys, sana ay uh, sa mga kabataan out there uh, na nangangarap na makabili ng mga sneakers at yung mga supreme stuff and uh, off-white. Alam ko medyo mataas ang presyo nito mga legit items nito. But uh, through hard work, perseverance, and studying hard, I'm sure when you become successful one day, you'll be able to afford all of this. And uh, when we dream, we have to dream bigger. At 9 p.m. tonight, don't uh, fail to watch Christine Babao's uh, vlog wherein I will be showing my uh, favorite Supreme and Off-White collection. Okay? Mamaya po yan at 9pm. So after watching this vlog, abangan nyo na at 9pm at uh, makikita nyo ho yung mga collection ko ron. And uh, this will be uh, in two parts. Okay? It will come out tonight in two parts. So uh, watch out for it. And in the vlog, I will be giving away this Supreme Cap. This is an original Supreme Cap. But I'll put your name here, dedication, and my signature. Kung sino man ang uh, winner, ipapadala ho natin itong uh, cap na ito. But the mechanics you will know from Tintin's vlog. Oo. And uh, again, ha, hindi ho kayo sasagot dito sa vlog na ito. Ang sagot doon sa question ni Tintin ay sasagutin nyo doon sa kanyang vlog. So follow her sa Christine Babao's channel tonight at 9 p.m. Alright guys, so uh, thank you again for your greetings and uh, I'll see you within the week guys sa susunod pa nating vlog dito sa Julius Babao and Plum. Don't forget to subscribe and post your comments below and your answers. And again, do not put your cell phone number. Just put your Instagram account and your email. And hit the notification button and like the videos. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.